In this delightful video, Jimmy and Chelsea are going to show you how to turn a bunch of worms into this many fish, and then in addition, they're going to cook those into this yummy deliciousness. Off we go! This is like so opposite of our normal fishing. We got some weighted bobbers, we got some hooks, little bitty baby hooks, and then we got some worms. So usually we make fun of people who fish like this, but now we're them. I also have a worm, Texas says. The Whitney gonna catch us some fish. <laughs> Did I just do the I shot the sheriff thing? Yeah, I think you Great. This is a new fishing spot for us. We just heard uh, the striper guy took us out the other day and he told us how there's so many perch that gather under here because that's where they fillet the fish. So we're going to give it a whack here. Think we need the net? Yeah, probably. Monster. Wow. I'm looking for some monster perch today. I'm trying to break a record. <laughs> right, Jimmy just caught his first perchy. Now, guys, I'll be honest with you, we don't perch fish ever. So we know very little about them. So we're gonna play a fun game, okay? Everyone's going to guess. This is gonna be perch number one and everyone's gonna guess in the comments what kind of perch this is. In Texas, we just literally call them all perch, but I know there's like sunfish and bluegill and all that kind of stuff. What kind of perch is that? So this is fish one, guess the perch. All right, perch of the day. We're gonna do guess that perch number two. I think that might be the same kind of says, but I'm not sure. Guess that perch. Number two. Number three. Jimmy's number something something. All right, hold him up. I feel like these have all been the same kind, but again, I know very little, so I'm not sure. This one's pretty good size. He's hold him up. Good. Pretty good one. He's cute. They're so pretty though. Perch are just like. Yeah, that's why we have a pet perch, but again, yeah, we don't recommend it. They're douches. Sweet. He's got fish on. Here we go. Little perchy tan. Good. You think it's a perch? That's weird. It's actually bowing your pole quite a bit. Wow. Let's see what's going on. Whoa. That is a freaking huge perch. God. Well, he's going to cry for a long time. Dang. Well, that's a tanker. Dude, if I had actually had my drag. <laughs> that is a huge perch. I think it's the same kind too. He's just really big. Huge. Sweet. Wow. Good job, Jimmy. Yay. You should be so proud of your sales. Whoop! Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. After them perches. After them perch, we're going to have us some fish chips. I heard the tails taste really good fried. we're gonna do is scale them, gut them, chop their heads off, deep fry. Yeah, we'll make a video of what's doing it. Yeah, well we're gonna put this as like actually cooks so they already know. You know what? See, we're not there yet. You guys are 
right you know now. What? Listen, you guys are in the future right now because as of right now, we haven't even done any of that. We're just fishing. But in like two seconds, you can see us cleaning them and cooking. Isn't that crazy? Weird to think about. So we've had issues. Perch are real sneaky about stealing worms. So we'll show you how we hook them because it makes it more effective for them to not steal your worm. We've just been using little pieces so we don't so be conservative on the worms. So it's about an inch, been on an inch long. Yeah, that'll hit it. So we just run the hook right through down the center of the body. So basically, if they're gonna try to take your worm, they're gonna take the hook with it. And kind of just like, you know, uh, push the worm onto the hook, down through the center, pop it out like that. But oh, damn, yeah, look it that. looks like a tiny lure. There we go. Look at that perch. Oh, he's decent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, perching. Perching. Wow. Double header. Saying, get one shot. Got hooked up. Perch slaying. Perch slaying. We got another. We've got so many at this point now. Yeah, we're probably about to give up. I'm getting super sunburned because I forgot my. Well, I thought I had my sunscreen and I did not have my sunscreen. So now I'm just like going to be a tomato, which is awesome. You're like always a tomato. You know what, James? You're just a lobster. Nobody asked. You live your life as a lobster. Okay. Yeah. Chelsea's got a perch on. Perch on. Perch on. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. Slaying them one after another. I have to tell him. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So true story. He was hooked really good, and we wanted a little bit more real footage. So she was like, "Just throw it back in. Just throw it back in, real it is. <laughs> Yeah. That was our second time to meet him. We never do that. It was just funny. All right. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna keep fishing. All right. All right. Fish on. Fish on. Toot toot. Oh, it's so little. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, he was small anyway. That was pretty funny, though. He just went flop, flop, flop into the water. <laughs> Smart. I think Jimmy's got another one. So we're fish on. Fish on again, you guys. Fish on. Wouldn't it be funny if you caught the same one that just jumped back in the water? But that's not the same one. He's bigger. But that was funny. This is probably a decent size. Um, I don't know. He's, I don't know. Small ones, but... We've got a lot of sizes and we're not really sure the best size. The guy that the guy that we saw the rest before, he kind of used medium ones. So I don't really know. Tiny mouths. I feel like I can never get the hook out. I'm trying to be so sweet to him. There, I got him. Ha ha. So this is a pretty good size right here for eating. It's probably about the size we're wanting. But we've just never done this, so I just figured let's try all the sizes to see what we actually like. So next time we can target big ones or small ones based on that. Yeah. So, alright. Hey, fishy. Pretty, pretty nice little boil going on out there. We were see probably some sandies, small stripers. Cool. Just a bucket full of perch on ice. Yep. You're going. <laughs> what it? Wow. All right, we're gonna fry us some fishies today. Some perchies. <laughs> we're gonna fry them whole. Cause I've never done this before. It kind of always grossed me out a little bit. Wow, this always. is a great intro. Well, I've heard that it's super good. We've heard that it's super good. So we're gonna give it a try. Fry up some whole perchies. Um, so yeah, we went to the, we went and caught a bunch of perch the other day. Man, keeping them iced down for the past couple days and now we're finally getting to cooking them up. 
So to cook them whole, what you're gonna wanna do, we're gonna start off with, see I don't know if they cut that front fin off or not. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, uh, we've already got these bad boys gutted. Now I'm gonna show you what to, we're prepping them up, getting ready to fry them. We just wanna de-scale them. Probably should pick an area where you don't mind making a mess because this Dude, is a little messy. We're tearing it up in my kitchen. There's like scales everywhere. It's like a, so I'll say this, I'm really stoked about this. We saw a recipe that just looked too awesome not to try. So that's kind of how this whole thing came about as we were like, dude, I want to try that. But I will say this takes a little bit of work. It's not easy and they're so small, you know? I mean, so for sizing, you want to shoot for like medium. This one's a little kind of small to medium. Um, we caught a whole bunch of different sizes, but in one cook, we're going to cook a particular size. So they all cook about the same, you know what I'm saying? You kinda, know? We're going to be kind of cooking smaller. Yeah, we're doing small to medium as kind of the size we're aiming for, so. We'll see how it turns out. This is, we've never done this before, so we'll see. Get all them scales out, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Get them all out. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. So you're gonna do on both sides. <laughs> yeah. Descale both sides. I've already actually pretty much descaled this whole thing. Just kind of touching up, making sure I got everything. Bam. Above the toe, bottom of the toe, around the fins. All right, I'm gonna give them a quick little rinse. Just to get all these excess scales off. Rinse it. Rinse, rinse it, it good. good. We're rinsing real good. Did you already check his guts? Cause that was good. No, I'm gonna do that for a second. Sweet. Okay, so now he's rinsed up. Looks like I did a good job. All the scales are gone. Yeah, he's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and what I like to do is kind of pull these bottom two fins out, put this one behind here. You're kind of going for an angle? Angle, because you want to get as much of the meat towards the top as you can. And you want to get rid of all these fins here at the front. Basically just like that. Boom. Toss the head. Well, or use it for bait. Or use it for bait. You said that earlier and you're right. It's a good bait. Give it one more rinse in. I like to kind of, since we possibly might be eating these fins, or at least the tail, I like to try and scrub it all. Well, I like to scrub it all anyway, just to make sure I get all the fish slime off and all that. Make sure it's nice and rinsed on the inside. Good rinsing. There we go. This video was not sponsored by Dawn for the record. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dawn's like straight up in the shot. He's actually got a little fish bone or something poking out the side of his body right here. Weird. See if we can see it. Can we see it? I don't think we can, but I can feel it. Huh. Anyway. Weird. Okay. So, yep. He's nice and rinsed, ready to go. We're gonna take him over here. Whoop. Dump him with the rest in the milk. We're giving him a milk bath. A little milky milk bath. He's going in the tub. Getting ready to fry him up. Yeet. We are now moving on to the cooking portion of this video. So we got our, uh, our perchies soaking in milk. Obviously we're not cooking all the perch that we caught because we caught a lot. Caught way too many. So. Cho. Chochi. See, that's what you get when you get a sassy Pomeranian. All right. All right. So now we're gonna mix together, get her. Together. We're gonna mix together our batter. <laughs> wow. no. Okay. So. so Chloe, evacuate. Sorry about that. So if you guys wanna drink a stout too while you do it. Dude, we just got these, they're like cookie stouts. There's they're pretty numb. Super bomb. I love stouts anyways, but cookie stouts, yeah, I'm into it. Mm -hmm. I never yeah. had one, and now I'm into it. It's like bakery in the cup. I kind of lean Glass. towards like Guinness, wow. like a dark. All right. My beer. So I'm gonna start <laughs> off with throwing a cup of flour. Cup of flour in a bowl. Boom. 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 
I'm saying? Okay. Got the cup of flour. You gonna mix it together? Yeah. Are you mixing the flour together? Mix the flour up. All right, don't forget to mix your okay. flour. So what we got was some Cajun Street um, seasoning. This is what we're gonna use to season our we, batter. We bought it at the Walmarts. We bought it at the Walmarts. Tastes pretty good. It's pretty I'm epic. It's got a nice smoky flavor. It does have a kick. Not a big kick, but there's a kick though. You we'll know what I mean? A little Louisiana bit. Louisiana style seasoning. Cause it's Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of big flavor profile. So I just kind of wing it. I season with the heart. You kind of want to be able to see the color showing so, through once you mix I'm gonna, it. Yeah, I'm going to add some and then stir it up a little bit. That way I can see about how much seasoning I got in there. So I, have, I'd add some more. I like it yeah. real, real flavorful. I was just going to say that. I think I'm going to add more. You right. You right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's probably enough. We probably <laughs> I'm going to call it on that. Because we're probably going to dip it in some spicy, but I had to guess too. So, I mean, you know. All right. All right. So now we are going to mix the bat, make the bath, because you got to, you know, flop the fish in there, you know, do the whole thing. So you need two tablespoons of milk. I'm just going to go and snatch it out of our bowl here. Since there's already clean fish in there anyway, it kind of doesn't matter. <sighs> As I like scoop something weird up. Anyway. <laughs> well, and then we're gonna add two eggs into this here. Milk. These are chicken eggs from chicken a chicken's eggs. butt. You know, or you can use like snake eggs. Wow. Armadillo gecko eggs. Gecko eggs. Gecko eggs. You could probably you even use more. like llama eggs for this. If you've got a llama egg, definitely use it. You want to use that. No, you need a shell in there? I got a piece of shell. Oh my god, I can't believe we've done this. I did. We may never recover. That was a... This, oh. We just got a dislike on the YouTube video for that. Just I'm don't, telling you. I'm don't get kidding. shell in there. Don't do it. Just don't do it. It's all smart. I'm not the best at cracking eggs. Chelsea's like pro. She just like does this and then splits it with one hand. Yeah, I do it one handed. I don't play. But I've been... I, cook, I bake a lot, so... Oh, see the shell? Should I try and get it? What did you do? Oh, guys, see, don't do that. Don't do it. Yeah, I get it. We ain't leaving that in there. That's nasty. How am I gonna get it? My you just get it. I got it. Yay. All right, guys, so we are ready. The oil's hot. We're actually rocking our new, we just got a brand new, um, what's that called? Uh, cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillet, yeet. Good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do about four at a time. Get that our, sounds good. Get our perch out of milk here. We're gonna <laughs> dip it in the egg bath. Dip it in the egg bath. Get both sides going. Get both sides going real good. Get on, get. Then I'm gonna bring it over here. Do I let it? Yes, yeah, sort of, but just don't freak out about it. Okay. Don't, don't be OCD here, just get her done. And then powder both sides up. Yes. Boom, boom. Yes. Powder it up. It's a good powder. There we go. Boomy. She gonna drop in. She gonna be fried. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to you guys. Be careful with frying oil. Oh, we use vegetable oil. I probably should have mentioned that. Yeah. You can use... There's several oils people recommend for fish. I don't know why. We just always do vegetable. I know there's... I think it's like peanut oil people use the most often. But, dude, vegetable oil is great. I don't know why... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. All right, so you're gonna plop them on in. We're gonna get on that. They're frying. They're frying. We're gonna go ahead and give them a flipper. Eat. Some tongs here. You ideally just wanna flip them like one time if it's possible, because I don't know how bad these are, but like when we fry up the catfish, the breading starts to want to crumb off, and you don't want that, obviously. All right, guys, I'm pulling the fish off. Got some fried full fish here. Nom. Um, so we were rocking the, this is a gas burner for one, and we're going about medium heat. So it's like, um, 
I don't know what I was gonna say. This pan, because it's a cast iron, it takes a lot longer to heat up all the way through. So we sort of had to wait for the oil to heat a little longer than our normal pans. Do those look, now this is the color you're looking for, okay? That kind of nice medium to dark brown color. That means they cooked. It means they crisp and cooked. Crisp and cooked. Yeah, two number going. Patch. <laughs> Batch number two going. Yeah. Look at it, it's Dunskies. Okay, so ideally you're supposed to just open them up. Okay, I guess that's... Yeah, it looks yeah. right. Yeah, so the bones pull stay down. Yeah, pull a chunk off the bones. I'm just gonna try it plain. This is our first time to eat a perch. I've never eaten a perch before in my life. I haven't either, I'm super excited. So This is weird. Here we go. Here we go. Was everything we just did worth it? <laughs> Thoughts. I need more opinion than oh, yeah. what your face is giving me. It's pretty good. I thought I might have had a little bit of bone, but yeah, it's good. Okay. So the other thing, hold on. You know what you got to do on film though? The other thing that we heard when we were researching this, when we first found that recipe in the first place was they were saying how good the tail was. So I think that we should film Jimmy eating the tail. It's pretty weird. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not, but Jimmy eats weird things all the time, so. Go, Jimmy. Do it. Okay, the tail? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, we did it, wow. Ew. Thoughts. Was he right? That is actually really good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I gotta try it now. All right, good job, Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining us. Look at that. Wow, just Pop comes right out. off. Well guys, this has been a <laughs> success. <laughs> and uh, I'm a fan of whole fried perch. Who good. knew? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty good. Just try it out. Catch you some perch. Some just do worms. it. Or big worms. Well, you're gonna catch the worms? <laughs> like in your yard? Yeah. Get you some perch. <laughs> On some little worms. <laughs> Do you catch the worms? worms? You know what I'm saying? They got what you were saying, dude. Okay. <laughs>